I need you to back up. Don't touch me again. She had too many damn drinks or something, honey. She lost her rap. Y'all, we ain't did nothing. All right, maybe it's time we institute a leash law on Karen. Clearly, their counterparts can't control them. Just fucking watch your silence. Just fucking. What did you guys do with all those leashes? You know, the ones for white children about a decade ago? We're not looking to harm Karen. Just keep her close to who's responsible for her. They definitely shouldn't be outside in populated areas with no supervision. Show me your credentials. Many have done battle with Karen. Many have failed. And the whole you about to lose your job campaign. You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. It's all well and good, but Karen, but Karen's usually don't have a job. Why aren't we calling the police? Yes, Karen usually threatens to call, but she never does. Call the cops. Lisa and Robert. Yes. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you. Bye. In a black car. That's exactly what this woman just said. At least they never show up. I'm sure police radios have a code for Karen calls. No one wants to answer. Have you ever seen Karen do battle with the police? <coughs> police don't want to deal with Karen. Shoot. Karens don't even want to deal with Karen. One thing you'll never see is a pack of Karen. Karen is a lone wolf. Look at it this way. 2020. Maybe it's time to put a ban on Karens all together. You know, like pit bulls. <laughs> even a rescue Karen is liable to have some relapses. So for all of the men who have Karen, you know who you are. Whether she's a full-blown Karen. You know what? I'm married to a cop. Or the descendant of a Karen. Oh, I'll just shut the fuck up! Bring her on down, have her spayed and neutered, help keep the Karen population under control. <laughs>